So greetings all doing a group one preview thanks to Top Sport and we're having a look at the Metropolitan over 2400 metres at Ramwick. I've got Mark Roden on the line. How are you, Mark? Yeah, very well, Mark. Yeah, we've got the, uh, as I said, the, the Metrop at the 2400 um, map-wise. Any, anything stand out? Um, uh, just that Hush Rider and Woogok look the two obvious go-forward horses and mm. other than that, you know, it's a mile and a half race. They'll sort of sort it out as best they can. Um, Magatu from seven um, looks does look like getting a, a good run though. Good stuff. Well, yeah, Magatu is um, his favourite. Uh, Charles Ailey with top sport at the moment. Looks like there's been a little bit of money for it already as well. Uh, from there, it's Hush Rider at seven dollars. Zabrowski eight fifty. Brim and Rocks nine dollars, and the rest in double figures. Um, mm. I'm assuming you got Magatu on top. What sort of... Um, yeah, I do. I do. I think clearly on top. He, he, he stands out. He really mm. does. But, um, you know, 280 in a 20 horse or it's going to be an 18 horse, you know, handicap. It's a, I can see why he is the price he is, but it's not... It doesn't enthuse me to, mm. you know, to charge into him at that price. But against that, uh, I could only bet very small around him because he... Clearly the best horse is in great form and he maps well. I, um, if he holds the form he showed in winning the Newcastle Cup last time out, uh, he's going to be very, very hard to beat. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, I said Hush Rider at $7 and Zabrowski at eight fifty. Yeah, look, Hush Rider's a dry tracker and certainly going to get that. Um, gave a good um, good sight in the Newcastle Cup, but McGarvey ran, ran him down and I'd would expect that to be the case, uh, all things being equal again. Um, but, you know, a, a good horse to back in that he takes luck out of the equation, will be out in front and he's going to get his conditions. But I think $7 is a bit short. Um, yep. What was it? Zabrowski? Zabrowski, yeah. yeah. Well, certainly looking for this trip and has been set for this race and has no weight. They're all ticks. I've actually got him second pick, but about $9. So he's not really a bet or anything at $8.50. Mm. Um, and there's just a little question mark about whether he <clears throat> wants it wet. Mm. That's um, jury's still out on that one too, so that's that, that might be a negative to the firm track. But uh, yeah, certainly been ticking over okay and, and looking for the trip for sure. Good stuff. And yeah, from there, um, yeah, fair, uh, fair stack of them in the uh, the double figures right. up to twenty, thirty dollars. Anything yeah. in particular presents a bit of value? Yeah, I thought um, a couple, a couple I might spec a Mirage Dancer who. Yep. A very soft run from gate three. Nash on is a tick and up to 2,400 is a tick. Been ticking over okay in Melbourne. Uh, decent race in the JRA Cup last um, Friday night. So comes into this race on an eight-day backup. So should be fit and firing. And yeah, like 2,400 uh, looks right at this stage of the preparation and is double figure on. So could, could entertain uh, him at the price. And the other one, which is a bit wider and more speculative, is Cariff. Yep. Um, yep. Just for instance, you wouldn't back uh, Cariff against Rondonella if you just took their last run against each other in isolation. Rond Rondonella closed off a lot better than Cariff did. But just looking at his overall form, um, I think, especially these days, 2,400 metres is the absolute minimum distance he requires. Mm -hmm. And he's got some really good, uh, really good runs in his in his past at, at that trip. Some uh, hasn't won many races, but run some good placings at 24, 2,600 metres and so on in in good quality. Races and he's yeah just worth a spec at thirty three to one I think. No worries. So, um, regard to the obvious, but a little bit of value water out possibly. Yeah, look, I wouldn't be surprised if I certainly think he'll get to three dollars, um, Magatu, and you may get better tomorrow. But um, oh, I'd be wrapped if I got four dollars. So he'd be an absolute solid gold bet at four dollars. But I don't know if he'll get there. Yeah. Um, so that's the sort of price you'd want if you're going to back him. I'd want close to four dollars, I think. You know, in a field this size, um, just to get some sort of edge. Yes, that's about the price I'd want. No worries, good stuff. All right. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, as I said, a little bit of value out water, and uh, yeah, one to keep an eye on. So we will chat again next week. All right. Talk to you then. Great. Cheers.